as a man in today's society, there's no way you're telling me that you're leveling up while you're busting nuts every day. There's no way you're telling me that you're leveling up and you're chasing punani every day. You're chasing buttons every day. The true self-development as a young man is mastering dick discipline and going on a semen retention journey for some period of time. We live in an era where everyone is so focused on the party, on chasing tail, tits, and it's just a overly hypersexualized society. So it gets us to a point where we want to release all day. We want to just put our goals to the side, put the gym to the side, and look up those BBWs on Instagram. We want to look up those BBLs on Twitter. And these are just distractions to get us away from our further, our ultimate goal, our ultimate destination. So I've been on no fat for some months now. I'm over 140 days plus. And it's been it's been a journey. I'm gonna just say that it's been difficult. It it goes through waves, it goes in waves. Like the first like 30 to 45 days, you're gonna go through some rough patches. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be tough. Especially if you were like a guy that fat or engaged in sexual intercourse often, it will be more difficult for you. So everyone's journey will be different. But within that first month, first 45 days, it'll be difficult. And then after a while, you start free cruising. You start cruising like, okay, okay, this is not bad. I, I, found, what to re I found exactly what to replace that habit reading, working out hard, or learning a language, just deleting the apps. After like 52 months, 50 days to two months in, you start, for me, remember, everyone's journey is different. You start to, okay, this is what I take. Okay, okay. Now, I'm like double that. I'm like 120 plus days in. in and I don't know if you guys seen my video, but for those of you who are new and just watching my channel, I did a video about 100 days semen retention, having sex on semen retention. I'll put the link in the bio. And I had sex. I didn't ejaculate, right? But after that day, it put me back into a gear where I had to wire, I had to wire, rewire my free cruise of, you know, semen retention. So... But I'm still on this journey. Ever since that day, I've been holding in strong, but I had to, I had to fight harder to stay on this no fap and semen journey. It's almost like the Jezebels are coming out. I had this lady. I was in I was in like a grocery store, and I had this lady like trying to flirt with me and stuff like that. But I was keeping my distance. I was remaining aloof because I didn't. I wasn't. I'm not ready to break that cycle yet. But the feelings of like wanting to fuck is still there you know the feeling of wanting to fuck is still there and i talked to one of my guys who've been on no fat and semen retention for 500 plus days and he said he doesn't even get urges anymore and i'm like man that's probably my end goal but i don't know how long i don't know how long that's gonna be that's gonna take me it could be shorter it could be longer this is why I tell you guys not to compare yourself to anybody else, especially on this semen retention, no fat journey. You have to go on this journey for your own specific reason. You have to go on this path for your own specific reason. If you do it for empty reasons, such as like, oh, it's a trendy challenge, or you see your other friends do it, then it's gonna be short lived. It's not gonna be kept because you don't have a strong foundation on why you took that stance on joining semen retention or no fat. But no fat is such a practice that most modern men have to engage in because most men are effeminized. They can't control this, their desires. It's no coincidence that we live in an era where men's testosterone levels is at an all-time low. 
we're breeding feminized men. Male pattern baldness is at an all time low. A lot of men suffer with like joint issues, muscle pain, joint spasms. These all is just like a laundry list of issues due to us not taking care of our seed. Our seed is the life force that produces life. So if we're releasing it and not producing life, we're losing ours. The purpose of your seed is to produce life. So if you're releasing it and not producing life, you're losing yours. You'll go bald. You have joint issues. All of these are related. All of these are related. You stay inside a bedroom with lotion on your counter, a sock on your hand, staring at a screen, you're not even blinking. So your eyes going bad from the blue light, your mouth probably open, so your tongue dry, your back, you got bad breath. Releasing, ah, ah, ah. And then we have men going bald at 22. We have men going bald at 23. We have men going bald at 33. Man, because you take you you releasing your seed. You're releasing your seed, your life force. Premature aiding, because you're releasing your seed. All these cons, because you're releasing your seed. And it's no coincidence that all these organizations, such as men's health, and all these outlets for men's lifestyle and men's health that tell you how masturbation is healthy. I read an article on men's health or health line, one of the two. And they said, not verbatim, but something along the lines of men who ejaculated and masturbated 21 times in a month have a 31% decrease in developing prostate cancer. Who the hell is masturbating or ejaculating 21 times a month? That's why all you men go bald. That's why y'all don't have businesses. That's why y'all lethargic. That's why y'all don't work out. Everything makes sense to me. We go on self, we go on semen retention to develop ourselves. We go on semen retention to master our desires because a man who's being controlled by his desires is a man who really won't see his destination. He got stuck at the pit stop of desire and he don't want to jump off that pit stop. He don't want to reach the final destination. The final destination being a multimillionaire, having multiple businesses, and then you'll have multiple women. Women won't even, you don't even have to talk to women. They'll just come up to you asking to be in your circle. But man, we're so caught up in the OnlyFans. We're so caught up in the Twitter corn. We're, for, we're so caught up in the Instagram corn that this is killing us. This is, this is, Stifling us, this is stifling us from becoming the best version of ourselves. The best version of ourselves has his desires in check. The best version of ourselves masters dick discipline and discipline in other areas of his life, such as the gym, such as communication, such as just fashion, such as just holding himself and others accountable. You lose that extra testosterone when we're releasing it on our sheets. We lose that extra testosterone when we release it inside of our socks. We lose that extra testosterone when we just not on a girl's face. You notice how you want to go to sleep and she wants to keep continuing? They want your energy and attention. So it's up to us to be the gatekeepers of our attention. Hold that key and watch how life around us provides you with many other keys so this has been more studios if you enjoyed this video like share comment subscribe and until next time you guys be well one